The images are haunting. It's just been a nightmare. The lifeless bodies of four people, including this two-year-old girl. Traumatic. All murdered in cold blood at the hands of this man, former Columbus resident Nawaz Amid. It happened September 1999 at this house in Belmont County, where Amid's estranged wife lived with the couple's two boys. The weekend before their divorce was to be finalized, Amid unleashed a vicious attack killing his wife, Dr. Luba Ahmed, and Luba's father, sister, and niece. Investigators tell me Ahmed ambushed them after returning from Port Columbus International Airport. Court records show he bashed in their skulls and slit their throats. Two-year-old Nasaria, nearly decapitated, died with her eyes wide open. Just hours after the massacre, the Pakistani man was arrested at JFK Airport in New York City. Amid and his two young sons were waiting to catch a flight to Pakistan. Attorney Grace Hoffman represented Luba Amid in her divorce case. I've never come in contact with anybody that is just that empty, that just a, the shell. Amid was convicted and sentenced to death. That was 11 years ago. Now, Waz Amid is alive and well here at Chillicothe Correctional Institution. And how's this for irony? ABC6 investigators learned that this death row inmate received a very expensive operation to save his life. Our tipster says Ahmed recently had open heart bypass surgery here at OSU's Ross Heart Hospital. OSU says patient privacy laws prevents them from giving us any information, including what Ahmed's operation cost Ohio taxpayers. But according to our tipster, we're talking deep six figures. Ohio Department of Corrections says it's bound by state and federal laws to provide prisoners health care. DOC Governor Kasich's office, even Nawaz Ahmed himself, all declined to be interviewed for this investigation. Grace Hoffman, though, had plenty to say. That's sickening. Medical care is one thing, but I mean, how far do you take it? How far do you take it? I think they took it too far. That money could have gone for other people's. It, it, just, it just made us all sick. We did some more digging. Our findings, prisoners like Nawaz Ahmed have top-notch health care benefits. Last year alone, Ohio's Department of Corrections spent $188 million on prisoner health care. Your tax dollars cover the tab. Ahmed has exhausted all of his appeals in Ohio in barring the governor's office sparing Ahmed the death penalty, he will be executed. Sooner the better, says Hoffman. I think a guy like this has to be put to death.